Now watch this. How many of you are yet to submit your prayer requests? Tell me where the early apostles say, write all the prayer points and come. If you are yet to, let, let me know very quickly because I want us to pray right now. Does God read letters? He reads your heart. Press your hands towards me. We are going to be praying over these requests. Hallelujah. That's why it is stupid to write prayer point. Now I'm going to bow my knees as we pray. You can keep standing and stretch your hands. I'm releasing my faith in partnership with the faith of all of our fathers of faith here. Apostles will never ask you to write prayer point. It's heavy religion for me to ask you, write letter to God. I used to do it. Write, you bring all of them. The one I saw in Kenya today, like this way. And I kneel down on them and begin to pray. It's religion. Play over God's intelligence. Tens of thousands of them. Arise, oh God, and show mercy. Go ahead and pray. It's stupid for you to write your prayer needs to pastor to kneel down on the paper and pray. Because, except you, are, except you don't belong to the kingdom. I told you that's what religious spirit does. Because in Matthew chapter 6, what did Jesus say? The Father knows. The Father knows what you need. How can you be writing a letter where the Father already knows? It is religious spirit to make you feel that you are dealing with God. Show me where Jesus asked Peter to write a letter. Do you know how many times we have engaged ourselves in noise as Christians? Have you to bring in serious things that you did and you came out and you now realize that God was not there? I stand upon this prayer request prophetically. Everything that has pressed you down, the same way it is under my feet, let it be under your feet. Religious spirit can call a conference, you can call a meeting, label it any name, and you go there, you'll be blessed because it knows how to appeal. Your religious software in the name of Jesus I speak to you prophetically that these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus you will see them no more forever if you look at why the Pharisee hated Jesus he came to remove to deal with religious spirit where do we get this thing from religious spirit you know why because we feel a connection and a satisfaction that God have heard our prayers. And the devil wants to punish you. He released one or two miracles. To validate your stupidity. Because religious spirit perform miracles. If there are no miracles, nobody will follow them. Hello, this is Kingdom Matters and this is Pastor Gideon. For those who don't know, Apostle Takim is a Nigerian minister of the gospel based in Kenya. And he has been very strong on polemics in the YouTube space. He has taken on a lot of falsehood and errors in the body of Christ like the use and the sales of mantle in the church the building of altars spiritual altars altar versus altars you know that right sowing of seeds to get miracles and testimony and so many other excesses and errors now in this video he went against writing prayer points for pastors to pray for you and said a number of things in that line let's go a little deeper into what he said and then look at it biblically every believer who is still writing prayer point is a babe because okay. it's a sign that the believer have no relationship with God. If you have a relationship with God, you don't write prayer points. Yes. If you have, okay, for instance, it's like this. My children want me to give them money. Mm. Okay, let's try not, I remember the last time. Mm. They wanted me to buy toys for them. Mm. So, they didn't write a letter to me. Mm. A note. Dear daddy, I want some toys. Yes. They didn't do that. And they do, uh, they did a list. A list. Mm -hmm. And I've attached some sacrifice. Some money. Some money. Yes. To convince me to give them toys. You see, you do that when you are dealing with a small G, a small God, a God. You are dealing with a deity, mm. an idol. Mm. That's all you do. But when you are dealing with God, it's your father. If you have a relationship with him, you don't write anything. Yes. You, the Bible wow. says, come boldly to the throne of grace. Hebrews chapter 4. So that you find grace to help in time of need. So the way my children come boldly to my room mm. and ask me for toys verbally, yes. that's why a Christian should enter the throne room of God, ask him for whatever you want verbally. So mm. writing a prayer point is a manipulation of preachers. Mm. 
and the Christians are accepting it because they don't have relationship with God. Mm. Every Christian who have relationship with God does not write prayer point mm. at all. It's not even according to you because God is answering your prayer. You are talking to Him. In fact, it's really a major sign that many believers are far from God. Mm. Yes, sir. They need to yes, really sir. get close. The Bible says, "Draw true. near to God, very and God true. will draw near to you." Mm. James chapter four. Yes, sir. So believers are very far from God. Very far. That's why you see there's a problem. Very far. A Christian who have no relationship with God mm. is the one that's going to write prayer points. Yes, sir. For instance, mm. Elijah mm. never wrote prayer point. Mm. And James chapter five spoke to us mm. and said Elijah was a man of like passion. Yes. He prayed that there should be no rain, and there was no rain. Mm. He prayed that um, there should be rain, and there was rain. Yes. So. Elijah that was used as a template for us mm. to learn how to talk to God. Yes. Never wrote prayer point mm. to God. Yes. So, Christians who are writing prayer point, who are they copying in the Bible? They should show me anybody in the Bible who wrote prayer point to God. Mm, mm. The only person who wrote something, who, who present a, a, a document or something to God. Yes. Was, I, I think Ezekiah also. Mm. Uh, one of those kings of Israel that the enemy wrote letters to him to get ready that he's coming for war yes and he took the letters to god mm. so you can take a uh, doctor's report to god mm. you can take uh um how do we call it court cases yes to god in prayer okay present court summons father please intervene for me okay uh, but writing prayer point yes. nobody did it in the bible mm. so so people those who enjoy tremendous answer to prayers yes sir. they wrote prayer point mm. elijah never wrote mm -hmm. Moses never wrote. Yes, sir. In fact, the glory of God covered Israel. You get my point? Mm. They live in the realm of glory. So they never wrote. Mm. That now tells you, believers who are writing prayer point, mm. apart from them not having a healthy relationship with the Holy Spirit, mm. it's also a sign that they are in the outer, outer darkness. darkness. They're not even in the outer court. It is people in outer darkness that write a letter to God who is in light. Oh, my goodness. If you are in God, if you are in Christ, how can you be in Christ and you are writing prayer point to Christ? Mm. You will talk to him verbally yes, if you are if you are in Christ. Mm. It's, it, now, 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 a lot of preachers who also ask people to write those prayer points yes, sir. are actually either in outer darkness, uh -huh. including the preachers, yes, the bishops, the bishops. Either the bishops are in outer darkness, yes. or they have lost uh, contact with Christ, yes. or they are genuine in Christ, but they are manipulating people, yes. or they are under pressure to perform. Yes. Or they are ministering to people who are going to their lawlessness. It is very possible to be a true man of God. Yes. That you are ministering to somebody according to his lawlessness. Okay. Or according to his gullibleness. Okay. When you minister to somebody yes. according to their lawlessness, yes. you don't want to rock, rock the boat. Oh, yes. You will mm. go to their church, you see them doing what is wrong. Yes. And you know it's wrong. Yes. And you will keep quiet mm. so that you people will remain at peace. Yes. So that they will keep inviting you, mm. keep putting you on social media. Keep spreading your ministry yes. and you keep having followers and views. Mm. You, you get my point. And yes, receive an honorarium yes. and be invited across the nations of the earth because, because you don't want to rock the boat. You know mm. what they are doing is wrong. Mm. So that is where you see a true man of God mm -hmm. concurring with what is wrong. Mm -hmm. You get my point? Yes, sir. So, so, so which is very, very dangerous when a true man of God concurs with what is wrong, he silently authenticates it. Mm. And the day of his judgment is coming because that person is soiling his anointing gradually. Yes. And once the anointing becomes soiled, yes. then an unclean spirit will begin to use you mm. without even you know it. Church is a major sign it's a that the church is sick. Major blend. Yes. That the church is sick. Yes. That I the agree. church really, really need help. Yes. Sir. The church needs help. Mm. A lot of people I don't have a relationship agree. with Jesus Christ. Yes. And there's a need. For, for a strong revival yeah. that will need to bring people back to God. Yes. So now let me make this disclaimer. I respect and love Apostle Takim for all he is doing and what he stands for. But this one is a little off, and I'm going to give us three main reasons. Now, the first reason is that the assumption that anytime anyone wrote a prayer point for someone to pray for them or to pray with them it is a sign that they have no relationship with god and it's also it's a sign that they are in outer darkness now whilst it is true that a lot of the people who request for prayers have no or little relationship with god it is not true that everyone who would write to be prayed for or to be prayed with don't have a relationship with god now let me say this one of the main systems that promotes charlatanism in the body of christ is the teaching that makes members dependent on the minister of the gospel other than on god and his word such that men no longer know the lord for themselves and so depend on other men to do everything for them 
So Apostle Takim is somehow right because majorly that is the use of writing prayer points and giving it to the minister of God for him to pray for you. Some pay money for people to go to the mountains to pray for them. These are things that promote charlatanism. Nonetheless, we need to make things clear. The principle on which prayer requests are received is based on the truth of praying one for another. In Christianity, although you don't relegate every responsibility to pray to others, Yes, because we all have equal access to God and God expects all of us to pray. We must make it clear that it is not still wrong to request to be prayed for, whether by mouth or by writing. It is not wrong to write down your prayers for some brethren or a minister to stand with you in prayers. It is not wrong at all. Colossians 4, 2-5 from the NIV, Apostle Paul says, Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful, and pray for us too. So he's asking that the church will pray for them, the ministers of the gospel, that God may open a door for our message so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ for which I am in chains. So the man of God at this point is in chains. He's asking the church to stand in prayer for them. He has actually written it. So it is not out of place for prayer points to be written in letters to be sent to people to pray for you. He says, pray that I may proclaim it clearly as I should. You know, when you are in challenges, people may tend to change the gospel in order to favor their situation. But he says that I may proclaim it clearly. I don't think anyone would want to suggest that because the Apostle Paul was requesting for prayers in this matter, he had lost something in his work with God. In Christianity, we are taught to bear each other's burden and to do so especially in prayers to fulfill the law of Christ, which is love. Galatians 6 verse 2 says, Bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Are you getting it? So yes, the apostle Paul himself will pray. But others standing with you in faith when you are hard pressed brings relief because they carry the burden of praying with you. Do you even realize that even the Lord Jesus Christ himself requested for the disciples to stand with him in, in the trying moment of his life? Now, don't say it is useless. Don't say it is stupid. So he requested it by mouth. He said, come. And he said, do you, couldn't you watch with me for an hour? Apostle Paul is asking them. He is in chains. Pray with us that we'll be able to still preach the gospel with clarity. So get it. Neither Jesus Christ our Lord nor Apostle Paul in their earthly ministry was in outer darkness when they requested for people to pray with them. James 5.16 says, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another. In Christianity, we pray one for another. And so I can take it in writing form or you can tell me verbally. It doesn't mean you can't talk to God yourself. You can also talk to God. You can go before God. But then we bear the burden together in prayer in that manner. So praying for one another, requesting for prayers has no problem at all. In fact, it is biblical. It is Christian. But some people have attached other teachings to it to make it such that without somebody praying for you, like you need a father to pray for you, to take you to God. This is what makes it a manipulative scheme. And so in order for you to receive that attention, some people even want to pay support that man of God so that the man of God could feel it and then go ahead and pray for them more than they will pray for others. But praying for others is an act of love. Romans 15, 30 to 31 says, Now I beseech you, brethren, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake and for the love of the Spirit that you strive together with me in your prayers to God for me, that I may be delivered from them that do not believe in Judea, and that my service which I have for Jerusalem may be accepted of the saints. 2 Thessalonians 3, 1 says, Finally, brethren, pray for us that we that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is in you. So do you get it? So the fact that we are in Christ doesn't mean that we cannot ask others to pray for us and doesn't mean that we cannot write down prayer requests for others to pray and to stand with us in prayer. Do you understand? If that is the case, finally, it will also mean that you don't even need to open up your mouth in prayer. You don't have to say to God anything in prayer because the Bible says before you ask your father in prayer, he already knows what you want to ask him. Now, if that is the case, then you don't need to even open up your mouth because he already knows it. But then when we open up our mouth in prayer, we are expressing faith in God and we are following the lay down principle that God has given to us in order to contact and to flow and fellowship with him.
Do you get it? So open up your mouth to talk to God doesn't mean that you are not in Christ. It doesn't mean that God doesn't know what you are about to ask him. It's an act of faith. Something, a principle God has laid down for Christians to reach and to fellowship with him. It is the same way when you write a prayer request and you give it to a brother, a sister, a minister of God to stand with you in prayer, believing God for something. It doesn't mean you can't talk to God yourself, but then they are carrying the burden with you. It doesn't mean that God will not hear you if you also pray. God bless you. I love you. I want to know what you think in the comment section. Have a blessed time. Shalom.